Taya Williams. Thank you for joining me here on Taya's Sweet Aroma. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for my shredded red chili chicken. This chicken recipe is one that I played with a lot over the years. I like to get in my kitchen and play around with all of my, my spices and my herbs and build these sort of like flavor profiles for my meat di dishes. And I think that's what sets this shredded red chili chicken apart from other red chili dishes that you may make or that you may have tried in the past. As far as the flavor goes, I feel that it has a really good um, smoked flavor and you get that smoky flavor from the chipotles as well as the smoked paprika. I have some cumin in here, um, but the star ingredient for this chicken is my red pepper sauce. Um, I recently shared a video for this red pepper sauce, so be sure to go and check it out. It's very easy to put together, um, and it is a must-have for this recipe. Now, as far as the chicken goes, um, I like to use bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. No breasts. <laughs> the breasts will dry out on you if you try to use a breast. Um, the wings, they just don't have enough meat on them. And then you can use drumsticks. I just like to work with the thighs. They're just easier to shred up at the end. Um, and I leave the bone in because that bone is gonna release even extra flavor into that red chili sauce, make it even more delicious, as well as the skin. And I'll talk a little bit more about the chicken as I'm cooking it and going through the steps with you. Um, but that chicken from the thigh just gets nice and tender and it absorbs all of that delicious red chili sauce. And that is why I like to use a thigh. Um, this is a recipe I think you're gonna really enjoy. And so let's go for the ingredients. The ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe are bone-in skin on chicken thighs. I also have some all-purpose flour. Um, we have some vegetable oil, but you can use canola oil or even an extra virgin olive oil, some tomato paste, some ground cumin, black pepper, dried parsley, granulated garlic, some chili powder, and although there's chili flavor in here, I like to add a little extra chili, pow um, chili powder. We have some smoked paprika. One of my favorite seasonings to use, especially in my Latin dishes, is some ground coriander seed. We have Mexican oregano, bay leaf, salt. Here we have some chipotles, which I've opened up and removed the seeds, as well as reserved some of that adobo sauce. For those of you that are not familiar with it, it all comes in a can together, but be sure to get the ones that are in the adobo sauce. You have the red pepper sauce here, some minced garlic, some yellow onion, and some water. To my pot over a medium high heat, I'm now adding in my vegetable oil. I'm gonna get this, the chicken, and I'm gonna start the chicken in the pan, skin side down. You wanna make sure your chicken is nice and dry before you do this or else it's just gonna pop all over you. What I am doing is trying to develop some color on this chicken. I'm going to allow it to sit on this side and brown before I turn it over. I've now turned my chicken over. You can see that the skin has developed a really nice color on it. I'm gonna allow it to cook now on the meat side for about three minutes. Do the same with the other four chickens. I'm not trying to cook them through at this time. Um, I'm just trying to develop a little color on them so that we can get some nice flavor in the bottom of that skillet. So once I'm done with the other chickens, we'll move on to the next step. I'm now removing the last bit of chicken from the skillet. You can see it, de it developed some really nice color on it. I'm gonna set these aside. Now I'm gonna skim off some of this oil, leaving only about a fourth of a cup of the oil in the bottom. You can see all of that really good flavor. I'm gonna add in my onions now to the oil. I'm not adding in the garlic at this stage. If you add in the garlic now, it will start to burn before the onions have time to become nice and translucent for you. So be sure not to add them in right now. Now is the time that I also like to add in my spices. Give this a really good stir. 
these spices are now wakening up. It smells really good in here. If you find that it gets dry, go ahead and add back in a little bit more of the oil. I'm gonna now add in my flour, allow the raw flour taste to cook off of the, uh, to cook out of the flour. Add in my garlic. Allow this to cook along with the flour. Now it's time to get everything else added in. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna be stirring. I'm adding in the water, scraping at the bottom, getting all of those delicious flavors off of the bottom of the pan. Gonna add in the red pepper sauce as well. And as you see with my chipotles, I did not cut them down. They're gonna, it's gonna cook long enough. They're just gonna break apart in the sauce. Get this tomato paste in. Just giving the sauce a really good stir, making sure everything is nicely combined. I'm just making sure I've gotten up all those nice bits on the bottom of the pan before I add the chicken back in because it's going to be a little harder to stir once you get the chicken in. I've also turned down my heat a little. If it starts to bubble up really fast on you, just turn your heat down a bit. I'm going to get the chicken in the sauce, get it nicely coated. Everything goes back in, the chicken as well as the skin. this last one in and all of those juices from that chicken I'm adding right back into this pot. Okay, I'm gonna put this up. As I'm stirring everything together, you can see I've, I've turned down my heat as well because it was going crazy. But what you want to do is allow it to come back up to a really steady simmer like mine is doing now. Be sure that all your chicken is coated nicely in the sauce. Um, what I'm going to do now is cover this up, allow it to continue cooking. Every 10, 15 minutes or so, I'm going to come give it a stir, sort of rotate the chicken, allow it to continue to cook, and once it's fully cooked through, I will show you the next step. My chicken has now fully cooked through. What I'm doing now is I'm getting off some of this oil off the top. And if I see the bay leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them as well. And I'm gonna to continue to do this till I get off most, if not all of the oil before I move on to the next step. Now that I've removed the oil from the top, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um, each of the thighs, as you can see, look how tender and moist they are still. I'm gonna remove them onto this pan. And on this pan, I'm gonna take off the skin as well as remove the bones from the chicken. And then I'm gonna shred the chicken into pretty good size pieces. I don't want it to be super shredded. Leave it in somewhat of chunks. Now that I have my chicken um, separated from the skin and bones, I'm going through the, the sauce and making sure that there aren't any more um, that there isn't any more skin or anything else in the sauce, but look at how nice and thick and beautifully colored the sauce is. Now I'm gonna start adding the chicken back into the sauce. And like I said before, you can break the chicken down as much as you want. I like to have some bigger chunks in it. Look at how nicely it coats in the sauce. Smells delicious. I'm just getting the rest of the meat, add it back into the pan. Gonna give this a quick taste. Mmm. Has a bit of a kick. And something I forgot to mention, if you want your chili to be a little bit more um, spicier, um, what you would want to do is add an extra chipotle in, an extra one or two. Um, chipotles are just smoked 
um, jalapenos that have been brew kind of brewing, I guess, in that adobo sauce. But go ahead and add a couple more of those in and it'll get you to that heat level that you're looking for. I think this sauce is perfect as it is. The chicken is nice and tender. I have a good taste of all those um, spices. I can taste the herbs. I can taste the oregano, that coriander. I think that really adds a, a, a slight little twist to this sauce. You gotta give this recipe a try. If you give it a try, let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.